and here we are actually recording hopefully good afternoon everyone this is Ted and uh, if it seems like I'm living a life of leisure well okay uh, considering it back home temperature is in the minus 20 Celsius range I am spoiled yes sitting back here enjoying the desert in southeastern California Actually, I'm just a couple miles west of the Human Proving Grounds training and training area. And uh, I'm out here at the, uh, the uh, South Wash, they call it, long-term recreation area. And I've been here since December the 4th, matter of fact. And with the time, I never got back to doing anything for YouTube. So, we're going to fix that today. And uh, here we go. First off... I want to say that, uh, yeah, the folks back home, I know I'm spoiled. 20 degrees Celsius plus. It's 24 when I last looked. Uh, my uh, thermometer is over 200 feet away. The sending unit is in a palm tree. And uh, that's good, but <laughs> it's not in the sun. Okay, today I want to talk about stoves. I did some recordings before I left to come down. And I just couldn't get them edited. This one is probably not going to be edited at all because I'm doing it right to face uh, YouTube if I get it correct. So let's talk about stoves. And that was one of my uh, interests that I, I expressed earlier. And uh, I started out with the IKEA hobo stove that so many people are familiar with. And you can see the nice hue or uh, the, the tone of it. There is the uh, door, yeah, I'll call it the door, for feeding in sticks when you're desperate and there's a pot on top, as well as for lighting the fire through there. Works great. Um, down here, uh, the, the, first off, this stove has been used for deer season a couple of years uh, with my granddaughters making our coffee, tea, chocolate, that kind of stuff. Down here, I'm using it strictly, believe it or not, as my campfire because I, <laughs> I don't need a big campfire for one person and so there I am now the second stove is a Luxata and you remember this guy right except for of course I don't have the pot holder on top because it's put away right now um, and I've used them both the Luxata uh, I gotta say I don't think is the steel is as good as I would like to have hoped that the stainless to be um, Matter of fact, you have to tap it to get that insert in there. Both of them burn beautifully. Um, oak and, um, and such. I tore apart a table in my motorhome, cut it in little pieces, and uh, made a fire there. Been great. It's been great having a campfire in the evening once in a while. Um, and that's good. Uh, otherwise, out here, you're not supposed to touch natural vegetation, dead or not and uh, you can get a good big ticket for that uh, folks pick up pallets or skids some people call them in the city of yuma and bring them out knock them apart and i had some uh, people from quebec that gave me some the little blocks that they use for spacers in them and they work too just split them stick them in the stoves and light them up and they work great so my first impressions the Lexada. Uh, I thought the steel would have been better in it, but I should have known for the price of it. It's not a perfect replica of the American-made, or the American companies. I think it's Chinese-made uh, that the Lexada is a copy of. Um, obviously, at a third the price, it's not going to have the quality of steel. So it still works well. I figured it would be good to try out. And in my case, yeah, the price of three Lexadas will pay for the quality one. Quality one worth it? I have no doubt. But I wasn't going to experiment with that kind of money. So, there we go. I'll try and get uh, other videos to you. And hopefully, uh, some of you will have suggestions on how to make videos better. Uh, comments are always welcome. As long as they're constructive. And please, don't hurt my feelings. <laughs> I won't cry, but ah, you know what it's like. And uh, hopefully... Uh, my thoughts will be of uh, use to somebody. I'll try and get some other videos pulled out of my archives and see if I can do something to make them 
short enough that it would be interesting to you. So with that, I wish you all the very best. Have a good day. And from sunny California, uh, keep your hat on and don't forget the sunscreen. Yeah, I was out boating in my pontoon boat yesterday, so the weather is great down here. Just for the jealous people back in Canada. For that, bye-bye, everyone. And I should not have reached over the camera, should I?